Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Flo and it's that time of the month again when I invite you all, everybody that is interested, to come into my kitchen and cook with me. If you're new here, whenever you see cook with me in the title of my videos, it means that it's time for us to have a chit chat while I cook. Those who like these kinds of videos know that when i am in the zone in the kitchen zone that there will be prophecies there will be ministrations they know that when i do my team womb videos my cherry were videos that i'm in my office i just write the voiceover voice it they know that the ministrations don't come as much when i'm in the kitchen so yeah for every cook with me video i do on a recipe i already have several different versions of that recipe so for those of you who want it sharp sharp who want straight to the point who do not do not want to hear me talking cho -cho 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 -cho, <laughs> i'll put the links to other versions of this recipe in the description box below so please go there and go and watch those ones for the cook with me videos we are not in a hurry we finish when we finish we are not worried about time. We are not worried about our data because, yeah, we use these videos to relax or to cook. I mean, on the day you want to prepare this, you can uh, put me in your kitchen and then we can chat while you cook. All right. <laughs> With that said, my people, today we are going to prepare kum kum moi moi. Or is it moi moi kum kum? Which one should go first? <laughs> yes. In Igbo land, this is what we call kum kum. It got the name from the sound it makes when it's empty. Kum kum. <laughs> kum kum means tin. Yeah, I don't know if it has to be empty for it to be called kum kum or not. I don't know. Those who speak Igbo better than I do, please, can you let me know why it's called kum kum? Is it because it's, it's an empty tin or any tin, whether empty or filled, can... You know, answer kum kum. I don't know. I don't really know that one. So back in the day, this was what people used to cook moi moi. I think people still use it today, but yeah, we are worried about BPA. So if you have BPA free tins, maybe you can still use it but today because tins contain BPA, which is harmful to health. So we don't use them anymore. But back in the day, they will use recycled tins. You can see that this one is from tomato paste. This one is from evaporated milk <laughs> there's a special moi moi plate in nigeria i'll put a photo here that has covers they were specifically made for cooking moi moi in nigeria so and this was like back 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 in the day during the time that some people were using this one so yeah we, we came prepared in this moi moi business <laughs> but these days a lot of people you prefer using uh, moi moi leaves this one <clears throat> etere umar leaves uh, or banana leaves or foil bags yeah that's what people normally use these days because they cook faster actually today i'm going to use this to try and replicate the the moi moi plates we have in nigeria actually this is the shape of the moi moi plates moi moi bowls we have in nigeria but those ones have covers yeah so this is what i'm going to use this is a, a pudding pudding mold or yeah pudding mold or pudding what else what else can you call pudding cups yeah this is what it's called i'll put the links to where you can buy them including the moi moi place in nigeria the moi moi place you can buy them in nigeria i'll put the links of everything in the description box below for you this is 9 cm and i have a 28 cm diameter pot so seven of these perfectly fit into the pot come on let me show you the ingredients that we'll be using today moi moi does not require a lot of ingredients so these are all i'll be using i'll be talking about them as we are cooking and this is the beans i soaked these beans yesterday last night because these beans is not your average black eyed beans that we have in nigeria it's very very tough <laughs> so i normally soak it the night before the dark color is from the the black eyes of the beans yeah this dark, like dull color that you see here this is what the beans looks like you can see that by me looking at it it's so tough it's so in fact sometimes i'm looking at this thing it looks like plastic <laughs> it's so tough it's not easy to peel and this is our nigerian brown beans 
this one once you put it in water like five minutes you can peel it by hand actually and for moi moi accessories like i call them you can use fish you can use mackerel or you can use sardine this one is sardine you can use boiled eggs some people add raw egg i'll show that as well this one is just a uh, pork bits you can add corned beef personally i don't like adding anything when i'm cooking more but i brought these ones out uh, for demo to show you guys yeah uh, i prefer cooking moi moi straight and then serving it with another meal and then i have this moi moi leaf here i'm going to use it to cover it now i want to peel the beans <laughs> the one that everybody runs away from yeah i prefer using freshly peeled beans whenever i'm preparing any recipe that requires peeling of beans this is a personal preference because i believe that it tastes better the meal tastes better with akara i don't even think that there's any any choice there because unless you prepare the beans flour yourself it's best to use freshly peeled beans for yeah it's more effective yeah than already peeled beans or beans flour in fact beans flour is the worst and when it comes to preparing moi moi don't eat it i, I don't like beans flour I've, i have a video on this channel where i use beans flour for you guys just because it was being requested but i i don't like it i don't like the taste because i believe that the spirit has left the beans <laughs> you know when they grind it and uh, of course i have trust issues when it comes to powder stuff i don't trust them to pick it very well pick out the bad seeds and pick out stones and all that yeah so uh, i i have trust issues there one two uh, the spirit is the beans the moi moi will know you cannot perceive the flavor the aroma of the moi moi when you're using beans powder or beans flour yeah so there are two ways in your kitchen there are two two ways or three ways not two sorry there are three ways you can peel beans of course with these beans that i'm telling you about that is tough you have only two ways because you can't peel this one by hand but if you're using brown beans this brown beans is quite soft you can put it in water at most five minutes it's soft enough for you to peel by hand and it's quite quick so a lot of people use these beans in nigeria but here I, i'm saving these beans for my beans porridge because it tastes better in beans porridge so I, I i'm not going to peel it because i'm going to cook beans <laughs> i'm going to cook moi moi so I, I i usually save it for beans porridge all right because it's important <laughs> it's like gold here so you can use a, a blender to peel your beans that's the second method if you're using soft beans <laughs> Or you can use mortar this hardwood mortar not the porcelain one that is very smooth because you need the friction to be able to peel it this is actually my favorite way of peeling beans but first of all let me demo this one just bring a small quantity of beans maybe two handfuls then pour a generous quantity of water see that's where the beans, the level of the beans is, where, that's where the water is. So, this is so that the bean seeds will be swimming in there. If they're not swimming, you run the risk of blending the beans. So, you cover that. And then you do pulses. While you watch it. The problem I have with this one is, even when you think that they have all peeled, while you're like washing it like to remove the peels you will still see the ones that are not peeled and i'll have to use my fingers to be peeling it i, I don't like it but when i use mortar it's more efficient for me it may sound laborious but it's more efficient for me okay i believe that if i go any more than this now it will be peeling because they've already cracked so let me Let me pour it here. Oh, no, no, no. How are you? How was school today? So look at that. Then I just came back from school. Then come and say hello to my friends. Hello. You're talking to them, not me. Hello. Hello, everybody. Did you guys see that she's already taller than I am? 
she's bent on making me the shortest person in this house she's been racing like this is a 10 year old girl okay you'll be 11 this month right yes <laughs> this week this week yes on sunday on sunday yes. already yes. madre mia it's true wow yeah beginning of next week we can call it babe can you guys hear that so yeah can you tell her happy birthday maybe this video will go up on saturday so your birthday will be the next day from that day okay bye see you soon bye. <laughs> anyway as we were saying before we were interrupted by nene this is it and you can see that there you see i can already see one that is not peeled so yeah that's why i don't really like it even though you know uh, sometimes when we hear machine using a machine it sounds like it's quicker but not all the time for me anyway for me anyway so i'm going to now that the demo is done i'm going to go to my favorite one <laughs> just bring a small quantity then You rub it gently, not hard, because you don't want to pound it. Just rub it in circles. That's if you have this. You see, a few rubs and they all peeled. Look at them, all of them, hundred percent efficiency. That's why I prefer this one. Just now, a few rubbing. <laughs> so that's why I prefer it to using a blender because that blender is not sure. I find that. When I'm done, I'm still there. Instead of quickly decanting the, the skin, I'm there cleaning it by hand. I don't, I don't like that. So, done. So, I cannot, you can actually. See the ones that are not peeled while you're doing that and then quickly rub it so that they peel with the ground beans you don't need all this some people you prefer hand it's quicker because you just rub it and for these tough beans <laughs> this beans is so tough Before, when I didn't understand how to manipulate these things, <laughs> I used to cry in here I'll cook Moimo because Moimo is actually a meal I enjoy very well. Every one of us in this house enjoy Moimo. So, I can't say <laughs> for sure that I'll, I'll take it out of the menu, the family menu. No, I can't. Even though it's not an everyday something. This is the number one reason why a lot of people don't like cooking more when feeling it. <laughs> the preparation is so tedious, man. But you know, if you remember the delicious nets at the end of the tunnel, <laughs> you'll be steadfast in preparing when preparing it when going through this all this long suffering. In those days, eh? hey. who remembers Moi Moi Saturdays? In those days, you wake up in the morning, you start Saturday cleaning. Hey. You clean the house, you scrub everywhere, scrub the bathrooms, clean every room. In those days, what we had in for windows uh, were louver glasses. Those louver glasses were, man. Hey. By the time you finish cleaning it one by one, one by one, and then about midday, my mom will send one person, usually me, to go and peel the beans. They are matcha beans. <laughs> they are matcha beans, my boy, boy. And then you start cooking, you matcha it, you go and peel it, that's go and peel beans, my boy, boy. Then you peel it and then you go and grind it because in those days, we had a liquefier blender. Right? Sometimes it, they just say, go, go and blend it before you, you, you fry the blend. <laughs> Go and blend it at the street junction. So you go to the street junction, the the heavy little grinder speaker, and then 
go there and grind it then come back and start cooking it with those plates that i talked about and you know those moi moi plates ha, they take forever to cook because you have to stack them eh? have to stack them like uh, bricks skyscraper <laughs> because we we'll usually this pot i have here is so small now compared to that one you we'll stack several because usually the family is, there's a lot of people in the family <laughs> Nene, your food is ready. Okay. <clears throat> so, then you start cooking. By the time you have the first meal of the day, that time, it will be 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Sorry. Hey, what is 2 p.m.? Chef, what time is 2 p.m.? That sometimes, by the time the food is ready, you're too tired to eat. You've lost appetite. First thing so far though, you know this time around, you can stay in your home if you, go, if you don't want to eat cook self, you will not cook in your home with all the food vendors. Just go online on Instagram, find your a, a, a food vendor that knows what she is or he is cooking and then other food. <laughs> Deliver to your dog and you enjoy, you don't have to do these things yourself and you do this. Hardly see people doing food delivery like that. But now everything is so easy. Okay, yeah. About the beans, it's two cups of beans. Yeah, I'll put the list of everything in the description box. Two cups of beans, the the standard measuring cup. I usually do level measurement. This is the quantity of. After I blended it, this is the quantity that will fit into this these containers that I showed you. These pudding cups that I showed you earlier. But that's when I don't add any more moi accessory. Uh, the accessories I showed you, like I said, I normally don't cook moi moi with anything. Which one do you like? Do you prefer um, boiled egg or raw egg, any one egg or fish? I fish, I mean sardine or mackerel. Those days, uh, corned beef is quite popular, yeah? but in my family, we didn't like corned beef. The taste puts, puts us off, so put us off. This one is past tense now, it's been a long time. So, we use sardine in those days. For parties, we will use boiled egg. By the time the egg comes out of that, 45 like you boil the egg for 10 to 15 minutes then you put it in my mind cook it for like 45 minutes man so i finished let me see it that's the water i use in soaking it like i said earlier this color is because of the black eyes of the beans it's like a dye <laughs> So you add a generous amount of water so that the skin will come to the surface because it's lighter than the seeds. Then I throw away the first one because it's quite muddy. See, I'm sure these ones that did not peel came from the blender. I'm telling you the truth. That blender is not very efficient when it comes to peeling beans. Okay. 
so that's it i know it's tedious yeah you can say it's tedious but it's so worth it for us yeah we love my mom so worth it because i soaked it overnight you don't need to soak it anymore for your blend because normally if it's the the brown one that peels quickly i mean that soaks quickly you can peel it fast but after peeling you have to soak it for for some time at least and i go by three hours to be honest so that my blender will not suffer when it's blending it to help my blender but because this one has been in the water overnight for so for more than eight hours so soaking plus second soak <laughs> okay so that's it done look at how clean it is okay we don't eat a lot of pepper so this is enough for this quantity of moi moi for us so that my kids can enjoy it this pepper is very potent we, i bought it from nigeria from my trip to nigeria it's very very potent we don't eat pepper here even from my first family before i got married don't eat pepper so everything i prepare now put it there. this one the job is to add color to the moi moi. No, the moi moi will be looking pale. So it's to add color. This is sweet pepper or paprika, fresh paprika. If you're in Nigeria, you already know what we use. Use tatashi. The difference between this one and tatashi is that this one doesn't have any spiciness at all. I know that <laughs> some people will say that tatashi is not spicy, but it's spicy, yeah. <laughs> I don't like using bell peppers for this because bell peppers contain a lot of water so it's not as effective as this one okay before camera oh yeah you guys are so used to this camera now that you don't notice it I found my husband said that he didn't know that I was making a video <laughs> when he came in. Even though the tripod is standing next to me. So you see that? That's what I do. I also add the crayfish here. Crayfish is for taste. If you're allergic to crayfish, you can skip it and add more seasoning cubes. Then add nutmeg that's the nutmeg i actually prefer the nut and i grate it myself but because that one has more flavor then seasoning cubes so if you're vegan you can see that so far this is actually a vegan meal if you remove the crayfish because crayfish is in the shrimps family and then use uh, whatever you use as seasoning cubes, vegan seasoning cubes. And add a little bit of salt. You have to go easy on the salt because that's the seasoning cubes and the crayfish can season the beans easily. And beans has, I don't know, beans has this kind of taste that beans seasons easily. Let me just put it that way. So you have to be careful. So I guess that's everything I need to add now. Everything that needs to be blended. Is all in here for blending I use one and three quarter cups of water yeah that's all the water I need to get the consistency I want for my moi moi try this one so this is the cup I use both for measuring the beans and for measuring the water one cup plus half cup plus quarter cup to make one and three quarters of a cup yeah that is the quantity of water I need to bring the blend to the consistency we like. You can try this quantity of water with two cups of beans and see if you like it. If you find it too hard, you add a little bit more water next time you cook it. 
or you reduce the quantity of water if you want it harder. So that comes to about 400 ml if you're using this kind of cup. I'll just show one and see you at the other side. One trick you need to learn about blenders, especially these medium range blenders, is that the less water you have in them, that that water needs to be enough for the blades to still turn without spinning, without crying, without burning. <laughs> you don't want to fry your blender. So you just need enough water for the blades to start moving and, and no more. <laughs> because the more water you add, the more the bean seeds will be, or whatever your blender will be swimming in there. Uh, the blades of the blender can't catch it to blend up. So that's that's the, the only trick I apply when blending. So I put a little bit of water. So these are some of the tricks that we use so that we don't spend too much money on the powerful blender. <laughs> quarters cup of water used for blending this when you're blending it at some point you feel oh will this water be enough just yeah trust the process <laughs> and it will be enough yeah okay okay you see the consistency consistency you see the consistency the only thing left to add now is vegetable oil i'm using sunflower oil just one cooking spoon like this let me see how it looks sunflower oil or any other tasteless and odorless vegetable oil for the classic taste of moi moi yeah you can use any other oil of your choice but just know that it will be delicious, but it won't have the classic taste. Maybe someone with authentic Nigerian taste buds, if you serve it to that person, the person will frown his or her face. <laughs> but you, you may find it delicious because you're used to cooking more and more with that. Let me add a little bit more. Maybe one and a half cooking spoons, but you know that all cooking spoons are not equal. <laughs> Just use I. <laughs> yeah. You know that it has enough oil. You know. You will not. You will not. You know. I may looking at it. So now the next thing is to prepare this guy. They are clean and dry. So you want to grease them so that the the moi moi will come out easily. So you just pour a little bit of oh, one is too much. To oil to grease the pan. I'll leave that one. So just grease that. So that when it's done, it can come out easily from the cup. The 
Okay, greased. Next, let's put the water for the moi moi. This is my rig up. This is a pot stand. Yeah, you can put into the pot. It forms a base. Uh, if you have a foil, you can fold foils and put them there to form the base because the moi moi should be steamed. And then you pour water to just about above the pot stand. So something like that is enough. Okay? Or maybe the same level as the pot stand. And then you start boiling. Then while we are waiting for it to boil, you can start dishing. I normally leave about one cm gap because moi moi rises to rise and later to fall again. I have to be careful with this because my kids, even though my kids like sardine, but they don't like their food busy just like me. <laughs> anything and that's seven to one. <laughs> you see how it perfectly fits seven of them nine cm diameter each then I use this to cover it If you don't have this, I'll show you what you can use to cover it. I reduce the heat to medium because I, I, I like this to cook kind of slowly, not on high heat. <laughs> so if I want to make that cover with aluminum foil, <laughs> You just simulate a circle. <laughs> so this is roughly a circle. If you put it in the pot, it doesn't match. Like this one looks oval, kind of. You keep going. So you just want something that will cover the whole thing so that it will steam well. Okay, so this is kind of a circle, not perfect, but yeah, <laughs> good enough for seismic. It's been how many minutes? 35 minutes. I've been cooking it. Let's check if it still has enough water. I, I know I put enough water, but let's just check it for the culture. Ooh. You see that? It's hot, too. Don't try this at all. Madre mia, madre, madre mia, you see how it has risen, but it's going to fall down later, yeah, it's going to fall back to that original level, they are about later, it will be like this, it's not done, but let me add some water, we still have water there, but I want to add more, so that I show you how to add water in case you want to add water. Use something pointed like this. Pour the true one corner like that. Okay, let me show you how you put that foil. <laughs> this is an opportunity to do that, you see. It's not perfect, so you can fold here. Like that, 
this one remaining here i'll put it in the freezer I, i've never had this quantity remaining after i don't know if my village people added some more beans <laughs> ah, some witches and wizards came and added some beans where well, after i have soaked it <laughs> i'll use it the next time i cook my more, more maybe i'll cook one and a half cups and then add this one to it 45 minutes later it's not moving it's still the same level let's check if it's done actually i go by timing i know it's done now but let's check it let's check it with the knife It's done. It's like um, should be like gelatin. It wouldn't be watery. That's how we know it's done. But it's still soft now because it's still very hot. You know, more more after cooking, it, you have to leave it to cool down to a comfortable temperature before eating, and then it will have the right consistency to be solid again. I don't know how else to explain how to know when it's done. like there when you touch it it's like cream it's creamy let me put it that way it's creamy rather than watery yeah and it will have taste as well that tastes like mama i know that some people may not have prepared it for the first time yeah you saw the texture when i blended it if it has a bit of that texture it means that it hasn't or a mixture of that texture it means that it's not done also, you notice that it's it, it's falling away from the. Yeah, I think that's another sign that it's done. It's falling away from the. It's like contracting from the cup. Yeah, from the edges of the cup. Hey! Finally, finally, it's tasting time. See it? Ooh, still very hot. Eh? Still very hot, but I want to taste this. This moi moi for you guys. Then go and rest. <laughs> Later, I'll show you how to bring it out from the cup. It's still very hot. Yummy, 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 yummy. So hot. I'll bring out them. More more from the cup when it has cooled down. If you try to bring it out now, it will be sticky. It's still sticky because it's still too hot. Then it will, it will not come out neatly. Mm. Will you cook it? Will you? Will you? <laughs> Have you liked this video yet? <laughs> <laughs> Have you? Hey. Mm. The egg. It's like rubber now. <laughs> That's why I don't like. I would rather boil the egg and serve it with the moimo rather than boil it and then put it here oh i forgot to show you guys how to put the raw one yeah you know that time that i scoop the blend into the cups into these cups then you can break uh, one egg and put in there bye bye see you <laughs>